Hi, my name is Jamie Howe with Trigger Point Performance. I'm the Smart Core Program and Development Lead, and I'm also basic level one and two trained in Zumba. I've been a Zumba instructor since 2007, and it is amazing to me what Smart Core Programming can provide for me as a Zumba instructor. So I like to use Smart Core Programming prior to my Zumba classes as a pre warm up. What does this mean? Well, this is the grid here. It's a great tool that allows us to provide self mile fascial release while we get core stability work. And that allows me as a Zumba instructor to warm up my body by prepping my muscles to tolerate the demands we're gonna place upon it during the workout. So here's how it works. We take smart core essentials and we determine which essentials are the best to use prior to a Zumba workout. There's a lot of lateral movement during Zumba. There's a lot of pivoting and movements requiring us to be on the balls of our feet. There's also a lot of hip rotation and a lot of core stability work. So we wanna make sure that we take advantage of the workout and get the greatest return possible from the class. So how we're gonna do that is by actually using the Smart Core programming, choosing a few select movements that really allow us to free up our tissue, really allow better range of motion, really allow us to fire our muscles as efficiently as possible. And this is also gonna allow instructors to avoid injury and move freely throughout the workout. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with a P2 calf thruster. So I'm gonna come on down. I'm gonna place the grid at the base of my calves, and then I'm gonna place my hands in front of my hips with my fingertips turned out, shoulders roll back and down, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of movement into this as I keep my butt lifted off of the floor. So I'm getting self-massage to the calf region while I'm getting some core stability work here. Now this is gonna allow me to stay in the balls of my feet, and it's gonna allow me to pivot when I need to pivot. So great warm up for Zumba. Now we're gonna move to the P2 glute roll. So I'm gonna bring it on up, and I'm gonna sit on the grid, and then shift to, to the side. So I'm on one glute, and then I'm just gonna roll back and forth here. So this is a P2 glute roll, and this is gonna allow my glutes to fire more efficiently. It's also gonna allow me to do external and internal hip rotation throughout my merengue, throughout my salsas. It's really gonna allow that greater range of motion and also allow the glutes to fire. Now we're gonna move on to the P2 mid and upper back thruster. So I'm gonna place it just below the wings of the back, so mid back region, and then I'm gonna place my hands behind my head, open up the chest, tuck the chin, and then I'm just going to allow the grid to roll to the top of the shoulders as I lift the hips to the sky, and then I'm gonna roll back down. So it's a hip hinge, and this is your P2 mid and upper back thruster. This is gonna free up the back region, which is gonna allow us to stand taller. It's gonna allow us to have better posture, and it's also going to allow us to rotate better as we free up the back, free up through the lats, which are connected to the glutes in that posterior oblique sling, which is really important for rotation. And then coming on down, next movement we've chosen is a P2 side plank perineal. So we're gonna release through the perineals region and this is very important for lateral movement and also for pivoting. So I'm gonna come to a side plank. I'm gonna bring this back leg over front and I'm gonna place the elbow directly under the shoulder. And then I'm just gonna lift the hip and I'm just gonna roll back and forth slightly just a few inches back and forth, controlling the movement, opening the chest. And again, I'm getting core stability here while I'm getting self-massage to that region. This is great because we're actually warming up the core, firing the muscles of the core prior to the workout. So by the time you get into the workout, you're ready to go. And go ahead and bring it down. And so those are just a few of the movements that you can select prior to your Zumba training that will allow you to get the greatest rate of return, to help you to move freely throughout your workout and also avoid injury. That was just a small taste of smart core programming and how it can be integrated into Zumba workouts. 
We have several possibilities of how Smart Core can be integrated, and we look forward to discussing those possibilities with you in the near future. Thank you, I'm Jamie Howell, and I'm with Trigger Point Performance.